We've met number one, now let's meet number 1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, my 1,000th sexual conquest is this largemouth bass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm weird. I thought I was here to watch normal intercourse on a residential street. Children, we're leaving. Oh, this'll be so fun volunteering in your class, Dewey. Eat my button, you whore. Oh, Lois, I'm so glad you're here. I gotta run out to the parking lot. I'm buying cigarettes from some guy on Craigslist. Go ahead. I'll handle the kids. <laughs> oh, Landon, what's the matter? Oh, did you spill juice on yourself, sweetheart? Sweetheart? Slow your roll there, Cougar Town. Well, let's get you cleaned up. And you know what? For today, you can be my little helper. What the hell? If anyone should be her helper, it should be me. She's my mother. We're supposed to be a team, like the Lone Ranger and Tonto. Well, Tonto, the bad guys are going to jail. Looks like this little town is safe again. Yes, Kimosabi. So, uh, what do you say? Wanna grab a drink? Maybe dinner? Sorry, me no like to hang with work people. I gotta hand it to you, Quagmire. That Quagfest was some party. Yeah, except I got molested in the House of Mirrors by either one man or a hundred identical men. Could have used a heads up on that one. Yeah, I'll tell you who might want a heads up. Liam Neeson. Oh, for God's sake. Someday, I'm gonna kick his ass. Damn it, Peter, I'm sick of this. I've had it. Me too. I mean, we just had a great day of fun and rides and finger sniffing, and all you can talk about is fighting some guy you've never even met. Yeah, he's lucky we've never met. I'd knock his teeth down his throat and out his stupid Irish fudge nut. You know what? You're full of it. If you were ever face to face with Liam Neeson, you'd crap your pants. No, I wouldn't. Well, fine. Let's prove it. Put up or shut up. Right now. What? What are you talking about? Well, we know where Liam Neeson is. That's right. He's shooting a movie in Connecticut. We could be there in three hours. All right, great. Liam Neeson has three more hours to live. Let's do this. All right. Ugh! I've never been to Connecticut. Hang on, fellas. I actually have been to Connecticut one time to meet Loretta at a McDonald's parking lot to pick up my son, Cleveland Jr. I cried in my sedan in front of my boy. It was sad. That's why I fibbed on it. I'm sorry, can we do a happy yell again to get the taste out of my mouth? All right! Yeah! I've been to Connecticut! Peter, Liam Neeson must be on the other side of that barrier. We just gotta get you on that set so you can kick his ass. We're so close, I can almost taste his ass. Can I help you? Hello, sir. We're here to see Liam Neeson, the guy who wears the same long jacket in all his movies. Sorry, this is a closed set. Peter, you're never gonna get close enough to Liam Neeson to throw a punch at the guy. That's why I gotta lure him out here to come to me. Remember, Liam Neeson's Irish. That's why I'm dressing up as the one woman no Irishman can resist, Mrs. Potato Head. Ooh, Mrs. Potato Head here. Any Irish actors around who might be interested in me? You're damn right, darling. Colin Farrell? Well, what are you doing here? Shoo, shoo, get away. Oh, you're a feisty potato. <laughs> the back is all mashed potatoes now. <laughs> 